Hi, Corey Gevins here from Attitudes. Uh, welcome to the first in what would be a series of After Effects tutorials. And first of all, if you want to request an effect or ask me a question, feel free to leave a comment. Or you can always catch me on Skype, Facebook, and Twitter. And you can find the details for those on my channel. So the first tutorial today is about the workspace, and we're going to learn how to move around in Adobe After Effects. Um, I'm using CS4, but CS5 is fine as well if you have a 64-bit operating system. And all I'd say is, if you have any comments, or if you want to pull a video reply, any comments you have or questions, feel free to do so. And just get in touch and let me know what you think of the tutorial. Any feedback is welcome, good or bad. So without further ado, here's the first tutorial in Adobe After Effects, and I hope this is of some use to you. In this video, we're going to keep it very beginners, very start, you know, start from the start, and um, we're going to import files to projects. To our project, we're going to then create a composition. We're going to edit the video in the composition, and we're going to save. Okay. So first things first, let's get files into our project window, which is this here. To get things into it here, we have two different options. We can go to file. Whoops, we can go to file, import file, and we get this. We select the, select the position, directory, or whatever where the video is, and we select the video. Or, in this vid same box down here, if you double left click, you get the same result. My personal favorite. Okay, so, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna pick this one here randomly just to, you know, pick one to, to show you. But, essentially, you, you, you click this, and then click open. Okay? Now, this is now in your project window. It's not in your timeline, it's not in your composition, it's just in your project window for now. We can get details if we look up here about the video itself. Okay, this was taken on a very bad DSLR as a test. But anyway, you can see the details there about the video. Um, and the, the sound waveform underneath as well, indicating sound in this clip. Now, we want to do step two, which is essentially create a new composition and get this in that composition so as we can play. Um, scroll button down the video to different points and to add an effect. To do that there are a few different ways. We can go to composition, we can go to new composition and type in what you want the composition to be. Ignore everything else for now, all I'd say is type in the name of the composition to keep it organized because that helps a lot later on. So I'm going to call this church blur, that's why I even spelled it right, I said it, thank god. Okay, and then I'm going to click OK, and there's a composition, okay. There's another way of doing it, so I'm going to close this composition. And what you can do is, you can take the movie, okay, left click and hold down, and drag this movie over this box here, this icon, and let go. And that does the exact same thing, okay. And if you're creating a composition that doesn't have video in it, let's say, let's say you're just using layers and effects to do, try out different text things, then essentially you would just come down here to this button, create new composition, and click it. And there you go. You have a blank timeline here you can add things to. Okay. For now, I'm going to do it the way I personally like to do it. And that would be to take the video, left click, drag, let go. And there we go. Now we have the video itself, now has a timeline. We have this um, red line here, and yellow. And basically this is showing your current frame. Okay, this is a frame by frame thing. Some people call it fast forwarding, moving through, dragging around. Personally, I use what most people use, which is called scrubbing. Scrubbing through the video to find a certain point or to, you know, get to a certain frame to test things out. Um, as you see the markers here along here, which is like 0.10, 1.5, etc, etc. They're, you know, time indicators. Okay, they show your rough, rough, you know, area where you are on the timeline. Um, if, for example, you're in between two, and you're going, well, how the heck do I know which, you know, where I am now? Quite simply, if you go up to the left-hand side here, where your composition is, you should see this here, this current time. This shows you exactly 100% whereabouts you are on your timeline. So, you see if I move this red line, if I scrub up and down, you see it shows you exactly right down to the, you know, point second wherever you are. Okay, that's a great tip if you're doing a competition and you're, you're stuck for time and you want to get it down. That's a great way of saying, well, I've, I have to do three minutes, so, you know, you can bring it down to three and then trim down to what you need to do, etc. 
Um, if you want to just play this video now and test it out, okay, you can left click and drag this around to where you want to start from, or just start from the start, you press space. Before I do that, I'm going to use my middle mouse button to scroll forward, and I'll bring the video forward a bit. And then I press play. Okay, and you can see the video is playing there. But, there's no sound. And if you have something that in particular you need to preview for sound, what you need to do is a RAM preview. Okay? Um, the, the, the default, I think it's the default anyway, you can check it out yourself. The default is a numpad zero. And that will be a RAM preview which plays back video and sound. And there we go, you've got your sound. Okay? Now, what we're going to do to this here is we're going to ignore all these buttons for now. Okay? This, this, Briefly, this one here it makes your, you know, makes your video appear on the preview window timeline or not. This one removes the sound or take it to add the sound back. We won't worry about the rest of these for now. We'll cover these in later tutorial. Okay, no need to know the stuff that's going to wreck your head. Um, so anyway, you can scrub around as I say, move them down certain frames and do whatever you like. So let's say you want to add effect. Okay, you can go over here to effects and presets, and you can you know, scroll up and down, click in and find the effect you want. Um, or, if you know the effect you want, in particular, you can click in here, left click, and type, we'll say, blur. Now, this shows you everything in your effects and presets with the word blur in it. So you'll find everything you need to find here. I'm going to go down to radial blur, but even though I could, left click, hold down, drag this till I get to the intersecting lines and let go, I could do it that way. But I also want to show you how to do it this way. I go to effect. Whoops, I have to click on the video. I go to effect. I go to blur and sharpen. And I can go to radial blur. Okay, and there we see the same effect. Exact same way. Now if I press Control Z to undo, I'll just show you this way. Okay, so I left click, hold down, drag till I get the intersecting lines. And there's the exact same thing. Okay, just a handy way of knowing to do different things in After Effects. Now, if you want to edit things into the effect that you've just added to your preview window or to your composition, um, a box will appear on the left-hand side where your project media is, okay? And this will allow you to edit the effect, okay? This is editing the effect, not the actual video, just the effect. Um, so you can change the amount of radial blur here to make it look, you know, super Batman-y type thing. Um, you can do it, you know, depending on what you want. You can do a zoom or a spin or a whatever it is, okay? So, I'm going to go back to spin, and I'm going to bring the spin up like that, stupidly. Okay, so you can mess around with the effect here, and that's it done. Okay, that, that's it in part of your video then, you'll see all the way through it has this effect. Okay, so essentially that's that's the basics. Um, you will learn shortcuts as time goes on, but one of the best thing, ways I could tell you to do is is just to mess around okay get a, get a video clip that you don't care about like just short about 30 seconds 20 seconds something like that bring it into your project window by left click left double clicking twice click on it click open drag left click hold down and drag this onto your make new composition uh, button icon whatever you want to call it and then it'll appear down here you can scrub through the video by left click and holding this down going backwards and forwards or you can go over here just left click hold down the same effect and then you go to effects and presets you either typed in the name of the thing you wanted or you just went to the window the folder titles and selected the one you want okay so blur and sharpen radial blur now once you've done this and you want to save this as a project file i'm not going to get into rendering just yet and rendering basically means making it a video that you can watch in windows media player or anything else for now we're going to just save this as a project because a lot of the things you do in after effects will involve you having to come back and take stuff work you've done before and improve on it or change it so what we basically do is okay we have this effect now that we have done to this video we want to keep this so we go up to file save as or Control shift s but save as just works fine too type in the name you want to change it as okay I'm going to call this blurry church you can call it anything you like okay and then you click save now this isn't a video file this is like an after effects project file specific to Adobe after effects you won't be able to play this in any kind of media player but what it does work great right for is if the next time let's say we 
just to make it look like we've you know just come back to After Effects after a gap. Okay, so let's say you've got this and you want to go. Mm, I want to work on that project again. When you go to File, Open, or Control Control O, and there's your church V blur, which is spelled wrong for some reason. So there you go. There's there's the the project that we saved earlier on. We open that, and we have the effect that we've worked on earlier on, except this is a different effect, but it's all the same thing. Once it's saved up here, whoops, big pardon. Once it's saved up here, save as, and you type in the name and click save, it'll save the, the effect of everything you've done that you can open up later on by going to file and open project. Okay, so there you go. Well, that's basically it. Um, I'd just like to do a bullet kind of transition of what we've done so far. We learned how to import video into our project by double left clicking, by going to file, open project, that's a break pardon, by going to file, import, and file. We eventually brought a file in. We found information about our file here. We left clicked and dragged and brought this to new composition and let go. We learned how to scrub the timeline using this red line and also referencing the exact point on the timeline by looking at this clock here, this current time indicator. And we basically learned how to play by pressing space, but that gives you no audio, or by playing with audio by hitting numpad zero and pressing again to stop. We've had a look at how to add an effect, a radial blur, which we got by either typing in blur here, or by just scrolling down, browsing down to radial blur, and then left click and dragging it onto here till we get the crossed intersection lines and letting go. Okay, then we changed the effect that we wanted up on the left hand side using the numbers in the sliders here, and then we went to file, save as, so as we could save this as a project to work on later on. Well, I hope that this video has been informative for you, and I hope that you interact with my uh, YouTube channel by letting me know how you found this tutorial, asking me questions or anything else. Bye bye from Attitudes, see you next time.